Logan Paul spent $2.5 million on fake Pokemon cards. It's actually insane. If you guys have been following the news around this lately, Logan Paul a couple months ago purchased a sealed case of first edition Pokemon booster boxes. First edition. It's crazy. But a lot of people all over were speculating whether it's real or not. I think a lot of people saw something wrong with the casing and everything. I think he went through a whole like authentication something. But this is the video and it did turn out to be fake. And this is the video explaining it. So today we're going to be reacting to it. And honestly, I have no words to say because 3.5 million is a lot of money. Even for someone like Logan Paul who can afford to lose 3.5 million, it is a lot of money. So we're going to be reacting and watching the video together. Oh, I don't know what to say anymore. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe as well, guys. All right, let's do this. So yeah, Ooh, prime drink as well. Okay. Video. Uh, this story's crazy and it sucks and I'm out three and a half million dollars. So make sure to go get some prime because every dollar goes right back into my uh, Prime is the drink you made a case <laughs> side. So, uh, looks sick. Hopefully I get a taste of one day. I did try it sides is in it Dubai. In that was sick. The whole thing is in here. We're sitting in the vicinity of a oh, that's the case. first edition base set Pokemon boxes. This, this will probably never happen again. He released this photo to Twitter. Just dropped three and a half million on the sealed and authenticated box Jeez. of first edition Pokemon well, five million. This is the most anybody had ever million. spent on Pokemon <laughs> cards ever. I'm going to tell you why I don't trust the case, the contents, or the authentication. There's enough sketchy stuff going on about the origin of this box. Logan Paul may have spent the 3.5 million on fake Pokemon card. This news has now reached Logan Paul and it seems like he's taking this very seriously. He's going to fly to Chicago and sit down with BBCE to verify <laughs> the validity of this box. Okay, so yeah, that's the whole thing so far. Like literally so long, people are just like all over. They're trying to authenticate it on their own, of course. Everyone's an expert in these matters. Uh, so like when he posted these pictures, everyone's like, oh, you know, it's not authentic, blah, blah, blah. And it was a huge thing. And now, like, I guess now you can see in the video, he did go to an authenticator to like really make sure it's real or not. But I guess we all know the result of that. But let's continue. Are you nervous? <laughs> nope. Well, about that, yes. So I'm looking at it. There's nothing suspicious about the outside of the case. Quick context, this is Matt. He's one of the biggest sports card collectors in the world and he bought the Pokemon case for 2.7 million. He then sold it to me for 3.5 million, but he's become a close oh friend and I could trust no. that he would fund me if things went wrong. If we crack open that case tonight and inside are just a bunch of what do you do? Well, we know it's not because we went through a uh, security check okay. in Philly. Okay. We just happened to go in a government building. <laughs> we know it's not. Yeah, yeah, we know it's not. <laughs> the reason why I was mostly concerned was because the person who brought it to me, he had so many inconsistencies, so much inconsistencies in the stories. It was like three, four different stories. That was my issue. Uh, always check your sellers. Always check your sellers. Who authenticated it. You should have trusted sellers everywhere. <laughs> this is this proof. This is fake. We're in, we're all in trouble because it looks so good. There's first edition packs in there. We're, we're gold. The case value of this is going to... Double triple. It would legitimately be verifiably a hundred percent the only sealed case in the world that is a hundred percent real. I mean, like, yeah, I guess the only what you can say from this is just trust your sellers. Like, you gotta have your trusted sellers. I've bought fake cards myself. I've got I've gone uh, scam too. Like, uh, just gotta know what you can buy from. All right, let's continue. You're from BBC. Yeah, I'm the owner. Yep. You're the owner of BBC. Yeah. And you authenticated this. Yes. Me and Michael are going to go over, when it came to my office that day, what I looked for. And then we're going to speak back and forth about why we like the seals. Yeah. If it's good, it's worth a lot more than the 3.5 now. In this case, it would be I hope it's real. It's, it back in March of this year, this case came into my office. They asked for my opinion if the outside of this case had been tampered with, played with, reproduced in any way. You could see in this piece of seal that was put on there by Wizards of the Coast that this tape is aged onto this case. This label too, the same embedded lines of the cardboard from age mm -hmm. are in that label. There's no evidence of tampering. One edge would look different in any way, shape, yep. or form. I did my diligence just like I do for a sports case. Oh yeah. <laughs> it sounds very confident, right. doesn't it? I like where that's going. <laughs> it sounds so confident. Like, okay. I mean, come on, guys. I ain't gonna be sober for this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my yeah! god. Yeah! Uh, 
Oh, it is. Oh my god. Mother Wait, hold on, hold on. Okay, that's a good sign. What? Why are they so puffy? Why are they so puffy though? They, see how they're shaped all? They don't look right. They, they don't, don't look right. They yeah. don't look right. It looks very bright. I'm not gonna lie. Color wise. See how? See how they're, they're, they're like they're curvy and yeah. Puffy. They're light. They don't look right. Okay, let's get it going. Let's open more. Oh the colors seem a bit off. I don't know. This is actually so sad to see. <laughs> oh no, 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 why is it bending like that? Why is it bending like that? What's inside of him? Dude. Mother 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 It's f***ing fake, bro. Ah. Fake. <sighs> Mother f***. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's open a box. Oh, yeah, right? Mm. Oh, f Look at this bullshit. <sighs> Why doesn't this one say first edition on it? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that's, really oh, that's so... Oh, no, that's so shit. That's screwed up. It's G.I. Joe. Joe! Oh my god! It could have been anything else! The level of the scam right now. G.I. Joe cards inside a first edition box, a uh, case, and that's been sold for 3.5 million! 3.5 million! On G.I. Joe! Oh my god, that is, that's actually so sad to see. That's so sad to see. Like, I don't know about you guys, like, as a Pokemon fan, I want to see these sort of first edition booster boxes, like, you know, be opened. Like, what he did for his, uh, when he started back in, like, 2020 with his first edition booster boxes. That was a huge thing. I loved watching that. Watching that was really fun for me. And, uh, to see something like this, to see scams like this happen is, it's pretty shitty. <laughs> it's really shitty. Oh, but G.I. Joe, oh, that's insane. One of them doesn't even have the first edition stamp on its bottom, so you don't even see it first. Oh, that sucks. That just really sucks. Alright, let's continue. Let's continue. Cheese. We all got duped. Agreed? Yeah. yeah. This is the biggest fraud in the entire history of Pokemon. So. That's true. Yeah, that is true. This tape is oh my God. embedded into the cardboard. I don't know if Jacob knew it was. That is where it is. That's is where I'm at. Right. There's gonna be a whole other process that goes into this. This is this is. I would have never purchased this if it wasn't BBC Rap. We only buy it because of that. But because of that, I felt confident it was legit. It was good. G.I. Joe, that's the worst part, <laughs> See the first edition saying so we're happy. Dude. Oh, oh man. I'm, I'm, that's a, all. I'm a super positive person, bro. And I'll always be the one to look at the bright side. And I'm trying, but this is very hard. It's just so sad for all parties involved. It's sad for the Pokemon community. Like, how, how many fraudulent things are out there? Um, I'm grateful so for the many. things that I have that are real now. I'm literally like, I'm picturing my Charizard in my head. Oh my God, holy sh so, Like something real, something worth a lot of money that is real. Wow, Damn, bro, I just went from, <laughs> I just went from 11 first edition boxes to five. No, yeah, to five. We got it. End of story. <laughs> Fight for freedom wherever there's trouble. Is that the G.I. Joe song? <laughs> oh no. Is that it? Oh, that is it. Oh my god. Wow, okay, what can I say? Um, Yeah, honestly, scams like this. I mean, okay, he's right though. Uh, I forgot the guy's name, but the guy said this is probably the biggest fraud case in Pokemon history because we're talking. A lot 
of money. I don't think we've had something on this scale before. Uh, but yeah, there are a lot of cases of uh, scamming in Pokemon. You know, I've bought fake cards before when I first started out. I know a lot of people who've bought it as well. Uh, it's just, you know, it's crazy. It's just what it is in the Pokemon community. And we're trying to drive that out some way or the other, but it's tough. It is tough. Wow. Okay. Three point, I, I keep looking at the number, $3.5 million. Like you keep hearing stories like, you know, some people, uh, they get scammed for a couple, couple thousand or something, which still is a lot of money. Don't mind me. That is a lot of money. But 3.5 million, even for someone like Logan Paul is a lot. And as a scam of this magnitude is, that's it's crazy, isn't it? It's crazy. Uh, what can I say? Have your trusted sellers, guys. You got, we all know, especially in Singapore, that's the only example I can give you because that's all I know. Uh, you know, we have our own local retailers and uh, I have some friends who I can trust, you know, when they, you know, buy stuff, with, they buy stuff for me or they pre-order stuff for me. I have a lot of people I can trust and I've known that over time. So that's, I guess, I've built that for myself. But guys, have your trusted sellers because shit like this can happen to anyone. Uh, so be careful, you know, really go through your sellers, especially if you're going to maybe on like Carousel or something where you don't know the seller uh, at all times. Sometimes you may do, but if you don't know, be careful, guys. Read through everything. Make sure you do your research on it so you don't get scammed in ways like this. Uh, wow. It sucks because something like so much like, like you can imagine like the... I would say the enjoyment of like opening all these boxes of first edition booster boxes, which I think he would have if they were real, would have been really cool. It would have been really fun to watch it. I was looking forward and I first heard of it, I was looking forward to watch those like lives again, the live openings again, but that's sort of now just taken away. I don't know what they're going to do about it. Will, will they start like, I hope, I hope Logan Paul starts like a video, like a series where he tries to find like track back the people who sold and made these fake cards. That would be, that'd be fun. Uh, but yeah, wow. Wow, what a start to the day, guys. What a start to the day. Uh, crazy. Uh, if you guys want more reaction videos from me like this, make sure to just comment down below what other stuff you guys would like me to react to. Could be Pokemon stuff, could be openings, anything. Put it down in the comments. I wouldn't mind doing more reaction videos. Uh, I've been planning to do a different type of videos throughout this year, so hopefully we can do more stuff like this. If you guys want that, make sure to comment down below as well. Uh, till then, guys, this is it for me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.